So we're not going to have a presentation on the Internet of Things. That is the person that has been ill today. So we'll put that on Thursday. Today, I'm going to be presenting cryptocurrency. Now, what is cryptocurrency? It is defined as a digital currency that operates independently of a central bank that get, uses encryption techniques to regulate the generation of units of currency and to verify the transfer of funds. But what does this mean? This means that people no longer need to trust banks to handle their money and information, that the population will not need banks to process transactions, and nobody has the power over transactions and or cryptocurrency involved because it is ran by multiple people and companies. So the, some history on cryptocurrency, it was first created by a person or people going by the alias of Satoshi Nakamoto in an attempt to create a peer-to-peer -peer network for digital uh, cash, which had been attempted in the 90s but had failed. In his attempt on work, uh, to create a, a prevention thing for double spending where a person would use the same money on multiple purchases, he had inadvertently created the first cryptocurrency that we know as Bitcoin. And it was later announced in late 2008. It took Bitcoin a few years to become somewhat relevant when, the first, when May 10, uh, 2010, the first uh, real world purchase was made for a $25 pizza. A few more years later, Bitcoin had an exponential growth as it rose from $100 per unit to well over $1,200. Some of the cryptocurrency that has allowed it, uh, some uses of cryptocurrency, it allows individuals to make private transactions so that they don't have to explain to the bank while they're making such a large uh, transfer, as well as sending non-cash remnants. And finally, it allows sensor, Sensor resistance, because banks, uh, banks can't freeze your cryptocurrency. Some examples of cryptocurrency is a 99 million Bitcoin transfer that took minutes to process and only cost 0.4 units to, for transaction fees. And storage is a company that rents other people's hard drives and uses it as storage for other people's information. And finally, Virgin Galactic, a company that is trying to commercialize space travel, is now accepting crypt, uh, Bitcoin. Now, how do, does cryptocurrency work? This graph here, as uh, tedious as it shows, it can be uh, divided into four parts. Blockchain, private key, wallets, and miners. The blockchains are the record of all transactions and activities of cryptocurrency. Blocks are copied and stored in nodes that are ran by miners, and all transactions are not official until they are added to the blockchain but it takes merely minutes for them to uh, be complete. Private keys are individuals' authenticators that allow them to be identified and exchange units. A key can have up to 78 di uh, digits for security and be randomly generated. But be warned, if you lose this, you lose all your money because without it, you can't get it to your units. Wallets are, uh, a wallet is a place to store your cryptocurrency and help reduce theft when you are not using them. And it has unique information to help confirm the individual that owns the currency. A wallet can be stored on the cloud, on an internal heart, uh, memory, or even on an external drive such as a USB drive. My, uh, miners are the record keepers of cryptocurrency. They use a vast amount of computer power technology to, uh, to create server farms that consist of uh, several individuals. They use highly technical methods to help verify the completeness, accuracy, and security of these blo uh, the blockchain, and upon completion, they are rewarded with newly minted cryptocurrencies. Crypto mining is the process of verifying the transactions and storing them into the blockchain. Each transaction is, requires a miner to respond for ensuring the authenticity and the information and adding to the blockchain. 
Miners, though, are competing against each other to get these blockchains and the rewards with them. Now, there are two ways to win a block. There are two ways needed to win a block. The first is you must verify a megabyte worth of transaction. This is the easy part. The second part is you must be the first miner to re re uh, arrive at the right answer to a numeric problem. This is known as proof of work. Now, the following are gonna be the top five biggest digital currencies by market cap of the late 2018. Starting with EOS at 6.36 billion, Bitcoin Cash, which is actually a byproduct of Bitcoin itself, at 11.9 billion, XRP, also known as Ripple, at 16.54 billion, Ethereum at 41.12 billion, and then finally, Bitcoin at 119.98 billion. To give you an idea of how their value, these five combined uh, almost triple the next 50 cryptocurrencies combined. Bitcoin itself almost doubles them. So, how can cryptocurrency benefit your business? Well, accepting it along with other currencies won't make or break you. Bitcoin has helped nonprofit companies. Uh, using such websites as BitPay.com, you don't have to worry about the volatility that Bitcoins can have. And it's also a great way to reconnect with your customer or clients. Other benefits include it helps find uh, fuel media coverage and uh, raise awareness of your company. It lowers transaction fees with transaction, uh, quicker transaction times, and it empowers your customers by giving them more options to pay with. Other benefits cryptocurrencies include is the loosening of government currency monopolies, a self-interested, self-policing co community, a robust privacy protection, and it's cheaper than traditional electronic transactions. But do in mind, there are some cons to using cryptocurrencies, such as lack of uh, regulation facilitates the black market, uh, loss, financial loss due to data loss, the losing your uh, key. It often can't be uh, exchanged for a flat currency. And finally, it's it can be limited to uh, no facility of chargeback or refunds. Basically, if you once you buy, you can't get your money back. Thank you for your time, and I'll now be accepting questions. Yes. So that it can help you reconnect with past clients. How does it do that? Um, one way you can is just announcing the to all your clients that you are now accepting cryptocurrency from customers that you're working with now to customers that have worked, it may, uh, some of those customers may actually be using them, may want to come bring them back to uh, work with you. Anyone else? Yes. If you bought a Bitcoin at the end of 2017, early 2018, it was worth around $20,000. Mm -hmm. Today it's close to $3,900. Oftentimes, or at least in economics classes, we teach that your currency has to have a, you know, a store value. And it appears maybe Bitcoin doesn't have that, or it hasn't settled in yet, or what would you think? Um, the one thing I, like, I was looking at several cryptos, they are all volatile, they all go up and down. And that is a concern for a lot of companies as to why they don't want to use these. Um, the only thing I could say that is, uh, there are websites who try to do an instant tra uh, transfer of currency at that moment. Uh, other than that, I really don't know how to regulate the, or keep it from going up and down so much. Uh, no, I did not. Sorry. What about regulation? Uh, nations that have said that they will not um, allow inter interchange of their currency mm -hmm. or that they're in some way making it illegal. There have been some, some countries that have taken action in the legal area around cryptocurrency. Have you looked at that? I, no, I was just focused, trying to focus mainly on that. Benefits of it. Well, and, then, and then how do I spend it? Can I, I spend parts of the Bitcoin? Like, 
Yeah, it's, it's kind of like a uh, dollar. You can use a fraction of the coin to make purchases. Um, Do I have to buy it with, with flat money? Well, you can buy it or you can be a miner because uh, if you want to mine, when you complete a blockchain, you get uh, some tra uh, coins as, as a newly minted coin, as well as so it miners was. Miners are actually people, not Yes, bots. miners are people who. I they were bots. They're computers. Computers run like yeah. people who want to try to get money out of them. Yeah. Another thing with miners is with some transactions, there is a transaction fee that they get a very small percentage of. And that also is leading to an issue with uh, companies who use Bitcoin and don't have a free trans uh, or have free transactions or compared to companies that use transactions because these miners will prefer to do uh, the block, the chain blocks for the companies that are doing transactions because they also get a bit of that, which kind of slows down the transactions that don't have transaction fees to them. Yes, sir. What do you think about the feature of uh, uh, this cryptocurrency knowing the volatility value of the uh, currency as well as uh, you know, the basis that you would try to uh, adopt cryptocurrency? I personally, from what I've read, I like it. Uh, while, yes, it is a very volatile currency, the fact that you aren't regulated by a bank, uh, like if you want to spend a large amount of money on something, the bank isn't going to stop you and say, are you, uh, and force you to freeze your assets. You, it's your money, you use it when you want it. Um, but yeah, besides that, if there could be some way to help reduce the volatility of the cryptocurrency, I think then, it could be a great uh, form of currency for nations to use. Um, uh, so, for example, in the next 10 years, do you think the, uh, the user base is going to increase or decrease? I feel like it's uh, going to increase. Uh, so if I was to come across my own Bitcoin or if I was to purchase Bitcoins, would I be able to turn the Bitcoin back into like monetary cash for myself? Uh, monthly, like actual money or yeah yeah um, like I said there was a website bit, uh, bitcoin.com that you it's an instant transaction that you put it in and you get a uh, transaction based off what the current uh, price is for them. and that's that's what they're trying to do to help with this volatile how volatile the pricing is because that's one of the issues with a lot of businesses they don't want to do it because they don't want to get $100 worth of this stuff only for it within the next hour to drop down to be like $60 worth. There's actually ATMs and everything too that can do this. Thank you, Larry.